Namaste. <laughs> Hello, this is one video of Yoga Reflections. Today, the famous yoga lifestyle. First of all, understanding that the yoga lifestyle, or what is yoga? Yoga is a path for freedom, for the highest and supreme freedom of the spirit. Yoga is a state of love, and to live a yoga lifestyle, one should be making every decision based on love. In order to do that and to be aware of all your decisions and all your um, concerns in being able to discern and be focused on love and not on the things that are just ephemeral, then one must practice every day. The first, um, the first thing of the yoga lifestyle that I would like to mention is the importance of having a teacher. My teacher is Rina Muens. He is a student of Dharma Mitra, so my teachings that I'm taking into my life are the teachings from Dharma Mitra. I'm very grateful for that I found my teacher in this city. And I also want to communicate that it's very important to be able to listen to your teacher's advices. It's not always easy because sometimes you're not going to like the advices that your teacher gives you. Because the easy way and the easy path might be more comfortable than listening to your guru. And one should be very aware when you're looking for your teacher or your master. Look at how this teacher is living. If he's living according to the truth, being the truth that the fact that they are going to pass away and they are living like if they have short time, then they will be working every single day to be pure in their hearts. People that don't live according to that truth is people that thinking that they are going to stay in this body, in this material world forever. So then they get attached to the material life. Once you find your teacher, then do your practice every day. You have to have some time for your practice. As you have a tithe, which is giving the 10% of your money to your spiritual source, then you also give the 10% of your time to focus on love, to give that time to the divine. When a student that has just finished a Conexión Yoga, which is a yoga challenge I've been doing in Spanish, I will do Sunni in English as well, she just finished and asked me, how can I deal with the issue of food? Because she went just through a period of very, very pure and sattvic um, diet. So now she doesn't know really how to how to do it and she's saying but I know that it still is good to relate to others. First of all I will say listen to your intuition but don't give up your decisions of making choices of love. If you are basing your food or your diet in a choice of love such as not eating animal products, then you should commit to them. And then communicate to the people that, that might be going to, preparing, to prepare some food for you, communicate to them that you have these specifications of your diet. There, according, well, talking about food, there is the issue of tobacco and alcohol. You know, Jesus, he used to drink wine, right? In his ceremonies. So wine was ceremonial, a ceremonial sustenance. We see in many American traditions the use of tobacco. I myself satanized tobacco for a long time. I thought it was really bad to smoke and would see everyone is like, oh, they're smoking, they're really bad. 
later I understood when I started to use tobacco for to pray I understood what this the power of tobacco was, is so in a long time long time ago wine and tobacco or other powerful substances were used only in ceremonies because they are sacred and keeping them sacred will be a link to to connect with a divine but what happened in the modern days when these substances go out and get out of control and then people are trying to use them to escape from reality that is not an action coming from love then I will ask you to look at your life and look at the choices you make if you start trying to use something to escape from the present moment to escape from that reality then stop yourself because that is not a loving choice or a yogic choice so following the path of love and the path of loving decisions is the way you can find yourself having a yoga lifestyle I will communicate my experience with food because food is such a big issue, right? I used to suffer bulimia and I had a big issue with my body and relating my body to my physical and my physical image to the foods I will eat. That gave me a lot of anxiety in itself and made me eat a lot and then it made me feel very bad. And why I would eat so much at some specific times was because I wasn't feeling fulfilled. I started finding that fulfillment through the yoga practice. And it's amazing to find that fulfillment. Because when we are harming ourselves, or when I was harming myself, trying to escape from a reality I wasn't happy with, that would just harm me. So my invitation today is to make a deep reflection in the choices you make and to commit to a daily practice. Call for you, if you haven't found your teacher or your guru, then pray at night or in the mornings. Pray so that you can find him or her and they will come. You will be ready, you will be open and they will come. This is all for today. Thank you very much. Remember, you can keep in contact, send me your suggestions or comments, and I would like to answer them in the next video clip.